guys, it's me, your girl Elisa from StylishCards.com, and today I'm back with a new video. So in today's video, I'm actually excited about doing this video because I want to come and talk to you about some flattering tops. Now, I feel like anytime, <laughs> anytime any plus size person uses the word flattering, I feel like there's like angry faces staring at you like flattering I could wear whatever I want to wear I strongly honestly myself I believe that you can wear anything that you want to wear but I also do believe in flattering so there are times where I don't necessarily care what people think and I wear what I like and what I want whether it's flattering to my shape or not but there are times where I want to wear things and which is for me majority of the time I always want to wear things that are flattering to my shape or if there's a particular body part that I feel like is not my favorite body part, which is my gut <laughs> for me, um, I definitely make sure when I shop and I buy clothes that I buy things that flatter that particular section or a particular part of my body that I'm not so much a crazy fan of. I think we all have things that we love about our body, but I also think that there are things that we might want to improve upon or things that we want to make sure we're always flattering. I know for a lot of women, you know, the bat wing arm is an issue for them. For me, it's not. It's like, listen, it's too hot, so if I need to wear sleeveless, I'm going to wear sleeveless. So if you are a person who feels like you can wear whatever you want to wear and you don't need anyone telling you what you should wear and what's flattering and what's not fat flattering, then I suggest you exit out of this video because you're not going to like <laughs> anything that I have to say. But if you're a person that, you know, does love to wear whatever you want, but is still also team flattering, then you continue watching. You keep watching. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you, I think, four or five full tops that are going to flatter a big tummy. So if you are interested in checking out this video, then you guys already know what to do, and that is to keep on watching. So let's jump right in and get started. So when it comes to dressing a gut, I always say it's not about hiding what you dislike, but it's about, in a sense, embracing it, but in embracing it in a flattering way. So the first top I want to show you is a striped wrap top. Now, wrap, a wrap dress, wrap tops, all of those are classics for a reason because they're pretty much flattering on every body type. So I have this striped wrap top right here, which is from Loft. This is Loft Plus. If you didn't know, Loft has a plus section now. Yes, Loft, you better go. But <laughs> um, so I have this top. Ooh, come through Loft with the blouse. This is really nice. Definitely check out Loft Plus sizes because they have a lot of cute stuff. But this blouse right here is, this is, this is very nice. I like this. Let me just serve for y'all one time. <laughs> so this is super cute. Uh, it has stripes as you can see. But the reason why I find this top to be flattering, especially for someone who's looking to flatter a more fuller stomach, is number one, it's a wrap. So it's kind of cutting you in a diagonal or I guess asymmetrical way. And then it belts at the waist, which is kind of like pulling in your waistline a little bit. And then see this flares out. So it's like it pulls in here a little bit and then it lightly flares out. So it's pulling away from your gut. So it's not like gonna cling to your gut. And then you want things that kind of pull in your waist, which is why the belt is good. And then you want things that flare away from the fullest part of your stomach. So for me, this is pulling away from the fullest part of my stomach and it even has like a little, you know, bounce to it. This is a top that is just basically kind of cutting my body up, which is giving me more of a shapely figure. The next flattering top I have is actually a sweater. So this is an off the shoulder sweater and this is actually from Lane Bryant. It has ruffles on the hem and it's also ribbed in the back. All right, so this is the green cable knit sweater, this off the shoulder. I love this sweater, this sweater is so cute. Loving the off the shoulder, I'm not over off the shoulder just yet. So let me give you a little shoulder lean, little shimmy. <laughs> Remember that song, shoulder lean? I don't even know the dance, I'm probably doing that wrong. But anyway, the reason why this top is flattering, in my opinion, 
uh, for anyone with a fuller stomach is see this is off the shoulder so it's showing a little skin at the top and then what I love about this top is that it skims over your stomach so it doesn't really cling to it it skims over so even though this is a cable knit sweater it's not super thick this sweater is actually kind of like a medium uh, thickness as t in the terms of fabric but what I also love is that it has a little ruffle hemline. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like a slight little ruffle hem which make which balances the sweater out. So it's like it skims over my gut, but then it kind of just flares out a little bit with the ruffles. And again, like I said, this is a super soft sweater. And what I also love about it that's flattering my gut is that the cable knit pattern the way it is, it's not going across, it's going vertical. So it's essentially elongating my stomach and it's making me look leaner in the waistline. So as you can see, it's giving me still a shapely silhouette. So this sweater is from Lane Bryant and I think it's a great sweater. You, all, you don't have to always wear anything that's wrapped just to get a flattering look on your stomach. So as you can see, this is just a loose top, just something casual. This is perfect for fall, especially the color. I really love the color on this and this off the shoulder or off the shoulder sweater is definitely A1 in my book. So let me know what you guys think about this. And like I said, it's, it's a nice soft sweater. It's not super heavy. And again, as you can see, it just skims over my stomach. It skims. As you can see from the back, um, it's just a nice sweater. So I also have a cardigan. Um, I really like cardigans myself, and I feel like with the cardigan, you can belt it, you can you know, wear it a couple different ways. So I do have this leopard print open front cardigan that has pockets on the side. All right, so I have one of my favorite prints, you guys. You guys know how much I love me some leopard print. So I have this open front cardigan. So the reason that I like this and the reason why I think it's flattering for my good is number one it has that it's open and then it's long so it's like a midi length it hits right at my knee and i just think that the print also it's not an oversized print it's like a small to medium leopard print so print can also make you look smaller and then i find if i wear a darker top under this i would also wear this with a white tank i actually worn this before with the white tank but I can also wear, um, like I have on this black tank under it, so it's giving me more of a, a slimming effect in the midsection. And because it's longer and it's a little looser and drapier, this is definitely making it look like I don't have a full stomach when I do. <laughs> so I do like open front cardigans like this, and I don't necessarily like the shorter ones that's open front, I love a longer one because it's a little more relaxed and it, it doesn't really pinpoint that you have a full a, a fuller stomach. So I like that this gives my stomach more of a streamlined look. So I do, I think this top, I think this cardigan is a really nice and flattering cardigan for me. Then I have this sheer blouse, but it's super pretty. The color is amazing. All right, so now I have on the lilac or purple, lilac, lavender color top. <laughs> and so this is an empire waist top. So this belt at the waist, it has a high empire waist like right under the boobs. And I used to, back in the day, I used to be terrified of anything that was empire waist because I always felt the elastic made you look pregnant. <laughs> but I was totally wrong. So you have to find one that doesn't make it look like you're about eight months pregnant. So anyway, so I like this top one. The color is beautiful. It's an amazing color. This is actually from the Girl With Curves collection from Lane Bryant. So what I like about this top is the sleeves. The sleeves are super sheer. And then it has this belted waist. And then it has a longer uh, hem to it. So this goes all the way down to probably almost mid thigh. It's making me look longer and taller. The belt definitely helps in flattering my stomach. And then like I said, the longer length and then it kind of just pulls away. So if you'll notice about it, the one thing you will notice about all the tops that I'm showing you, it's just all about how things lay 
on the area that you are looking to flatter. So I'm always concerned with how things lay on my gut. So I always want things to not be super clingy, but I also don't want things to be too oversized either. So this is why I like things that just skim over my stomach, and then I like things that kind of just cut it up a little bit, you know? So this top is a very great top for flattering a fuller stomach. I love this top, I love the color. This looks, this is just such a beautiful top. Good job, girl with, girl with curves. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. So like I said, I'm a super big believer in flattering, and I always want to make sure that I'm dressing to flatter my shape. It's not to say that I can't wear certain things because I do believe, again, that you can wear whatever you want. Now, there's times, like even though I, have, I don't have a flat stomach, I still wear body con dresses. I just wear shapewear. And there are times in the summer when it's too freaking hot <laughs> to wear any kind of shapewear because it feels like you got on a darn wetsuit, then I will definitely go shapewear free. But I probably wouldn't necessarily do a body con dress unless it was a little loose. But I would definitely do a flit and flare type of dress. So like that's how I personally dress myself to make sure that I'm wearing things that I feel good in and that I think that I look good in. And when I say that you can wear whatever you want to wear, I strongly believe that. I just believe that you can find the right cut, the right style that works for your shape. So I hope that you guys honestly found this video helpful. I just wanted to share with you some of my tips because you guys do ask how do my clothes fit me so well and how do I shop and know what to look for. But this is what I've been doing for years. I, whenever I shop, I make sure that I buy pieces that highlight the things I want to highlight and that flatter the things that I don't necessarily want highlighted. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below which top did you like. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you are following Stylish Curves on Instagram and make sure you hit that subscribe button and then the little notification bell so you can know whenever I post new videos. Also, there will be links to all of the pieces that I showed you today in the description box. For more plus size fashion, make sure you check out the blog, stylishcurves.com. Thank you again so much for checking out this video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!